welcome back to What's Cooking Wednesday on Big John TV. Halloween's coming up quick. So I have a tasty treat that comes together really quick. It's gonna be using a candy that some people love and some people hate. Candy corn. I love candy corn, so this cake's gonna be right up my alley. If you're not a candy corn lover, you may want to stop now. Because not only is this cake going to be colored like a candy corn, it actually incorporates the candy corns into it. So let's get started. All right, this fun treat's gonna come together pretty quickly. We're gonna use one box of yellow cake mix. We're gonna prepare it according to directions. So for us, that is three eggs and half a cup of vegetable oil. And start mixing this together. Now the bottom of a candy corn is yellow. Our cake is yellow. But I think we need to amp up the yellow and make sure that it's really, really yellow. So once we get this combined, we're gonna add in a few drops of yellow food coloring. We're also gonna add in one cup of water and continue mixing. And to make this appear a bit more yellow, I'm gonna add a good helping of yellow food coloring. Now that's yellow. Our oven's preheated to 350 degrees. We've greased the bottom of our nine by 13 pan. Now we're gonna add our cake mix. All right, into the oven it goes for about 34 minutes. While our cake is cooking, we're gonna get started on the part of this recipe that makes it truly special. For the poke part, we're going to make a syrup out of actual candy corns. Into our saucepan, we're gonna add one cup of candy corns, one cup of water, and we're gonna heat this up till it melts and becomes a nice orange syrup. All right, they're almost all melted, it's funny. The little yellow ends are actually taking longer than the rest. I was prepared to add a little bit of orange in case this wasn't quite as orange as I wanted it. But I think that that looks fantastic. That is super orange and it smells like, like candy corn. This is like pure liquid candy corn. All right, let's finish cooking this down. All right, it looks like all the little bits have dissolved and we're left with a beautiful orange candy corn syrup. We're gonna set this aside and let it cool. And once our cake is cool, we're gonna put this all together. Oh, our cake is out of the oven. It is hot, but it smells fantastic. Next step is to find something round and poke a bunch of holes just all over this thing. Fill it up with holes. That looks good and holy. All right, once your cake has cooled a little bit, we're gonna pour the syrup over the top. Try and aim for all those holes. You wanna fill them all up. All right, now that our cake has cooled down a bit, we're gonna top it with this whipped topping. You could also use homemade whipped cream, but I'm going with easy here. Spread it all out. This is gonna go in the fridge until we're ready to eat and it's fully cooled. Right, our cake is cool, it's out of the fridge, it is ready to decorate the top. Um, confession, I wanted extra Cool Whip, so I did use a whole nother container for a total of 16 ounces of Cool Whip. So now we're just gonna dot the top with some of these extra candy corns. I don't want to get too many because I'm worried that the texture between this and the cake is going to be so drastically different. I don't want it to make it too hard to eat. I think that's perfect. Let's slice this up and give it a taste. I got to tell you, I am super excited about this. This was 100% not my idea. It was your request. It was my request because I saw this on Facebook and I went, Oh man, that looks fantastic. Yes. Totally different. I've never had it, never seen it. It's like, Jess, come on. This one was easy. I'll link <laughs> below the 
recipe that I sort of followed as an inspiration. Yeah. It called for a homemade cake. I went the easy way and I used a store-bought box cake, but the results here I think are pretty impressive. I, I love that. That is absolutely, let's get on my, let's get, come on, focus. Come on now. There it goes. There we go. So my only complaint would be that all the syrup sunk to the bottom yeah. so that it's more of an orange yellow white as opposed to true candy corn which is yellow orange and, you, and white. You hold one that's got, got no, no white. white. What the heck? <laughs> see? Orange, even yellow, they, white. Even they get messed up. I look at this, I see yellow, I see orange, I see white. It makes me think candy corn and this house smells fantastic because of the melted candy corn situation that you had going on yeah the candy corn syrup was pretty cool <laughs> i never would have thought of that so it's definitely moist i may have gone overboard with the syrup in it that is a rich <laughs> whoa Dude. that is a rich cake but it tastes like candy corns. It needs to set up probably a little bit longer in the fridge than we let it go now. But that is so good. It reminds me in texture of like a Trace Leches cake. Mm -hmm. It's good and moist. It's very, very sweet. Yeah, this is like... But when you get the full bite with the Cool Whip or Cream whipped cream, whip cream mm -hmm. along with the cake and the sweet, sweet syrup, yep. it kind of mellows it out a little bit. Yeah, I think that it's like... Well, obviously, wouldn't eat it all, wouldn't eat a lot. It's super bad, super tons of sugar. Halloween time, you're doing something fun, you're doing something festive. Enjoy it, have fun. This is fantastic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I tried getting a candy corn in that bite too. I'm not super fond of the texture difference. Yeah, I wouldn't mix the textures necessarily. So the few on the top are okay for decoration. Mm -hmm. I'd eat them separate, not in the same bite as a cake. I was wondering if you let it fridge enough, let it get cold enough, if it would re-solidify, if it would re -harden. I don't think it will ever get back to the full candy corn hmm. texture because of the added water. It's changing okay. the properties of it. And the viscosity and whatnot. Mm -hmm. It's more of a syrup now. This is delicious. This was a fun experiment. I would definitely make it again. Oh, absolutely. This is, I mean, absolutely screams Halloween, screams fun, screams fall, festive. This is fantastic. Yep. All right. Good job. Uh, make sure you do all the things. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. You can find Big John TV on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I'm so active on some of them all the time, but we're there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.